Now the other thing, other than being able to see big previews, which is very useful, is the fact that you can also see and add InDesign files, the entire InDesign layout file, to CC libraries. But you know, how are you supposed to do it here? You know, it right. doesn't appear. And if you try to drag an InDesign file over, like, hang on a minute, I have a folder full of these, so bridge. Okay, so let's say that I want to bring all these and look at them in bridge. You know, here's another little tip is that if you make bridge, I'm just gonna jump to favorites right here, make that active, and then in the Finder or Explorer, just drag and drop a folder right onto favorites. Cool. That's a fast way to get to it. Here's the contents, bridge previews and ID. So here are some of the things I have, all right? So let's say that I wanna add some of this content to my library. So I go to libraries, and I'm just going to uh, kind of like switch this view a bit or drag up the divider. Okay, so like Barack and Michelle, did I add, her, add that already? No, so I wanna drag it. So I'm dragging it from that folder of images that I brought over to favorites, and I'm just going to drop it right onto my library. Or here is a car and a fence, and bring it over. And then here is an InDesign file, a newsletter. I drag it over, and it yells at me. Wah, wah, it yells wah. at me, and it says, hey, your file's not supported. We're working to support more file types, but for now, they can only have these extensions, and then this huge list that does not include INDD. All right, it's hiding in plain sight, I-N-D-T. Anybody know what that is? A template, it's an InDesign template. So I do have an InDesign template, book interior template. I can drag and drop that over. Oh wait, I gotta close that. Drag and drop that over. And hallelujah, it is uploading the template to my CC library. What this means is that you can create a CC library that you can share with freelancers or your colleagues that has all of your templates. And it includes everything a template would include, right? Uh, parent pages and object styles and paragraph styles and starter text frames and all sorts of things. Instead of trying to put them all in a shared Dropbox folder or something like that, you can just put them into the library. Now what about the InDesign files? Like I wanna bring Cigar Newsletter over here is the secret secret tip, is that you can rename it, and now it is an InDesign template, right? So it's thinking about it, but it's going to let me do it. Or it'll crash. <laughs> or it'll crash. <laughs> One or the other. When uh, I asked the Adobe engineers, I don't know, it's just having a fit, um, what is the difference between an INDT file and an INDD file? You know, when you open it up in InDesign, it says, save as template, and it changes the extension. Of course, now it's freaking out. Yeah, all right, you're, you're, all right. Gone. let's see, let's, let's maybe not pay any attention to it, and we'll cover where that thing is. <laughs> That's what I do. And then I start saying, you know, I was thinking about switching to Windows. <laughs> what do you think? This will work on Windows. Yeah, and uh, anyway, they said there is no difference. It's just the extension. So you can easily rename files to INDT and then add them to the library, did it, did it fix it? Yes, it did. Oh, no, it nope. did. <laughs> All right, fine. But I do have other INDD files that I've done that to successfully. For some reason, it's just not doing it today. So here, I know you, I did upload that one yeah. InDesign uh, template, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So here it is, and it, I grouped it by category, and it automatically created one called templates. Who knew? Yeah. Who right? Knew? And then when you, if you right click, you don't get a copy or a link or anything like that. It just says open new document because your template is in the cloud. And so all I can do is open a new document and there it is. That is my book starter template. Isn't that cool? And That's it opens cool. as untitled and yeah. I would save it. It's not linked. There's no way to link it from the library to here live. If I updated the template, it's not going to affect anything I've created from it. Still, I think that's pretty slick. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.